Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create a single flow agent using Dialogflow CX. We're going to base this example on the Google provided um, tutorial. So in this case will be uh, for a, a pet shop that sells uh, shoes for, for puppies. And basically what we're going to do is define a single flow started uh, starting flow from the default start flow to an order flow. So the order flow will consist of is first a page for the collecting the information in which you will pass parameter size, parameter color, and then you will have a transition route for confirmation. Uh, this will take you to the page confirmation in which if you agree or if you say yes then the order is completed and you go to the end flow. Or if it's not then you start over again for the collecting the information. So you usually start by creating a new project um, you have to browse to dialogflow.cloud.google.com slash cx. In this case, I already have a project set up with a billing and uh, with the Dialogflow API enabled. So I'm going to click on Create Agent. I'm going to name it the same as the Google example. I think it's POGS. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, leave the settings as default with the location, time zone, and default language, and hit Create. This will prepare the agent and it will bring me the flow diagrams or the flow visualization. Usually it starts with the default starting flow. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to edit the route. Okay, so the route is going to consist uh, on a direct to a flow that's going to be my new flow for the order, following along with the diagram that we saw. So once we have this set up, it says that at least we need one intent. Uh, so we'll let's just go ahead and create a new intent. And the intent, we're going to call it place order. And let's provide some training uh, phrases. I want to place an order. And uh, let's also set up. I want to buy red shoes for my puppy. Now as you can see immediately the color was immediately recognized as a system entity for color. But let's say if I want to I want to buy big brown shoes for my husky. As you can see brown was recognized but uh, big wasn't actually recognized at all and this is because this needs to be defined as a custom entity so we're going to save what we have so far and we're going to go to the manage, manage section of the flow and let's go to entity types and we're going to create our new entity for size under size let's just go ahead and start adding the reference values starting with small and let's begin to add some synonyms like s um, what else? Little, tiny. Okay, and next we're going to move to the medium size. Medium, M, average, normal. And we're going to end up with the large definition, which is L be huge. This is just to give it some uh, synonyms and you know, let's just save it. Now if we go back to our uh, intent and we go back to the to the default intent um, we'll see that yeah we want to do the transitioning uh, to the order flow. any here is that we're going to map it to the place in the order okay so what we're going to do is we're going to route to the next page which will be 
the collect information. Now before going any farther, let's just go ahead and edit our intent because we need to actually map the size with our custom um, size entity. Now as you can see, it map it correctly. We're going to uncheck this because this is not a list. And we're also going to give it another example. Like wanna buy little yellow shoes for my Pomeranian. Okay. If I add this one, it will immediately recognize uh, the size and the color. So I think that should be enough for now. And let's go ahead and let's focus on the co collect information. So we're going to add an entry dialog. So great. Let's get started. Please provide the size and color desired. And for this, we're going to define some parameters. All right. So the first parameter is going to match our entity size. So we're going to map it here. It's going to be required. And let's just ask uh, what is the size. Now the next one will be a color parameter. So let's just do color here and just, just map it uh, with the system entity for color. What is the color? Now for the route, what we're going to uh, define is a, we're going to uh, say, okay, we're going to make the transition as long as the page param status equals final. What this means is that it will actually check for the required parameters and only then it's going to transition to the next page, which is going to be the confirmation page. Okay, so the route uh, the run has been saved successfully. As we can see, that we're building the desired flow. And now uh, the next step will be uh, for the confirmation. So let's just say here, great. It looks like you want to buy. And we are storing the parameters in the session. So let's just define the session params size in the session params color for your dog. Is this correct? Now that we have save here, the entry dialog we're going to uh, define a couple of routes. The first one is going to be uh, no intent for the confirmation to be yes. And we're going to train it with a couple of affirm affirmative questions or affirmative phrases. So, yep. I think this should be enough. Let's save our intent. And now what's going to happen in here is that we are going to map this to the success page. So let's just create a new page and call it success. Next uh, definition is going to be for the no route. So it's going to be confirmation dot no. Again, defining the training of phrases for no. Saving the intent. And then we're going to map this to a new page and that we're going to call failure. Next part is um, setting up the success. So for setting up the success, let's just go for the entry dialog and say, That's it. Thanks for your order. Have a nice day. What's going to happen is we are going to immediately route this 
to a page called Enflow. And, and to enforce it, we're just going to do a customized expression, which is with the value true. Right? So as you can see, our diagram is taking shape. And now we're going to move to the failure section. Now for the failure, it's all right. So you can say, no problem. Do you want to start over? And in here, we're going to define uh, the two routes again. One with the intent for yes. So if we want to start over, then what we want to do is we're going to route it again to the collect information page. And in the case that no, I don't want to start o over again. Let's just go ahead and same thing for the condition true and send it to the end flow page. All right. Um, so I think if this should be ready, uh, let's go ahead and let's test it out. Let's create the agent. You can say I want to purchase or I want to place on order. So it's in here. Great. Let's get started. Please provide the size and color desired. What is the size? So the size is going to be small and the color is going to be blue. So it says great. It looks like you want to buy a small in blue for your dog. Is this correct? Yes. Okay, that's it. Thank you for the order. Have a nice day. Now the other thing I can do is I can say I want to buy a small a pair of small red shoes for my dog. Okay. So this is here. Great. Looks like you want to buy small in red for your dog. Is this correct? You can say no. No problem. And he's asking me if I want to start all over again. If I say no, then uh, the flow ends. Otherwise, I can just um, try it again and say hi. I want to buy red, sorry, small red shoes for my dog. You can say yes. I'm sorry, I think I went through the wrong flow again. So it's hi, I want to buy big brown shoes for my husky. So you can say here now, and then do you want to start over again? Yes. And uh, we have a problem right here. As you can see, uh, it didn't erase the parameters. So it's still telling me that if I want to buy a large in brown for my dog. So we're going to fix this easily just by going to the failure page. And from the failure page, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to modify the confirmation yes route. And um, we're going to do some parameters preset. So we're going to define here the color to be null. And we're going to define here the size to be null. Let's save it. And now we should be able to continue here. And we can say no. We want to stall over again. Yes. As you can see now, it's asking me for the size. So this should be fine. It should be correct. And that's it. Uh, so that way we can test the agent. We can see the flow. Then uh, further along, we can just do a manage the, with the test cases, validations, integrations, etc. Uh, but for now, that's just a simple example on how you can handle a single workflow uh, for for ordering or placing an order for this uh, POX company. So yeah, that's it. Thank you very much.